This is Jerry Nelson. Uh, we're out on Lasher Road, southwest of Alburn, about 11 miles. Uh, just going to tell you the story of uh, how my wife and I, when we decided to put a, an improvement in our backyard, went to the deck yard, uh, spoke to them about getting a gazebo and a deck put in. Uh, we had a small deck here previously. Uh, it was only about 13 foot by 9 foot, so it wasn't very uh, conducive to entertaining or anything. Uh, we talked to uh, Ted over at the deck yard and Roger and worked through the two of them with several different design plans and ultimately came up with what you'll see here behind us. Uh, and it turned out, uh, I can say this going into this uh, magnificently, uh, it is really a beautiful setup. Uh, the gazebo that we settled on um, is a very interesting one. It was the only one that we could find like it. Uh, it has uh, a pre-wired environment. Uh, it comes with lights, uh, stereo system, stereo speakers built in, and an overhead fan switch. Uh, so, and it all comes pre-assembled uh, in a sense. It comes in eight different pieces. They put it up in one day after the footings are poured. It's spectacular to watch uh, that happen and it is just beautiful when you're done. The interior is all just very nicely done. Uh, they do a good job with it all. Uh, the folks at the deck yard uh, worked with us for several days uh, trying to get the designs correct, uh, trying to uh, make it fit around again what we have here behind us, uh, an herb garden uh, that was out in the open and we didn't want to lose it so we had to do some contouring and shaping around it. Uh, we have some uh, double windows on the bottom of the house. We had to work around them for stairways. Uh, we have vents in the side of the house. We had to work around them for placement of the deck itself. Uh, we have trees that abut the deck and the gazebo. So it had to be very carefully placed when we were doing the design to not run into the trees and then not become a problem with the trees. Uh, so we've gone through quite a bit to get it to where it is and I can tell you from only having it a couple of weeks my wife and I just dearly love it and we're out here every day we're in the gazebo almost every night every night that we're home uh, it is just spectacular the uh, the area below the deck was originally a concrete patio slab running three quarters of the length of the house and we didn't know what to do under there other than to tear it all out. Uh, I removed it all on Father's Day actually uh, so we could start building on that Monday and it was halfway through the building of the deck that I decided I really wanted to put patio pavers in uh, so I called Roger and had him come out and measure it out that night and uh, do a bid for me and uh, it was the price I was looking for so I hired him to bring the guys out and lay down the walkway and the the uh, patio itself so that worked out very well for us I would uh, definitely say if you want a uh, an enjoyable experience a quality job uh, a good design uh, go over and see Ted and the folks at, at the deck yard because they can help uh, come up with the solution that, that'll match your ideas and and probably uh, end up much better than if you just try to do it yourself <laughs>